The fact this ticket snatcher was caught just pointed out some of the tightest security measures taken in any rock concert, and the fans were well advised. There are police present at the bottle check. If you are carrying any kind of illicit contraband, there's a strong possibility that you could be arrested. All drinks, alcoholic or otherwise, were barred, but the warnings didn't prevent some from trying anyway. Most seemed to get caught. This man was arrested for possession of $500 worth of a drug believed to be cocaine, but most often the police confiscated marijuana and let the people in. Just marijuana or stuff like that, we just dump it. We're just trying to get the people in, that's about it. Once inside, however, it was easy to smell and see that police weren't able to find everyone's marijuana. These kinds of procedures are a far cry from the Stones 1969 concert at Altamont where the Hells Angels provided security and a murder. The Stones are making this tour their first in three years to promote their new album, Some Girls. This concert was sold out ten weeks ago. The group's popularity in America really began in 1965 with this song. The Stones' bad boy reputations have also helped build their popularity. Some tickets on this tour have sold for $200, and many people showed up hours before the gates opened to ensure a good vantage point. Well, we wanted to get good seats, you know. Had to get down here early to get good seats and see all the freaks. The Rolling Stones group is 15 years old, but from the looks of it here, the Stones don't look like they're fading, as possibly 70,000 fans filled this stadium for some musical satisfaction. Judy Elfenbein, News 8, Anaheim.